Hey, what's up guys? So today I just wanted to do a quick review of Express Digital Dark Rooms Core Edition. Now this is just a review of it as an event software. This is a program that has a lot of features beyond just photographing and events. You've got the ability to do green screen dropouts, build memory mates, all that stuff. But I want to talk about it specifically for shooting events. And I'm kind of doing this mini review because I've been getting a lot of requests from people about the software that I use to power our events. Now in the past, I've used Lightroom shooting tethered at events, and I've also used Canon software, both wirelessly and tethered to shoot events. And while those programs work for shooting events, they are incredibly slow. And when you're shooting large events, that just doesn't work. When I shoot things like my kids' school dance, where there's like 60 kids that show up, my son's elementary school is very small, there's not a lot of kids there. I can use those programs, it's not too much of a problem. We do end up with a little bit of a backlog of people waiting for photographs, but it's not a big issue. But this event that we shot last weekend, there was about 300 people at this event. That's a lot of people when you are shooting and we needed to have faster turnover. So I contacted Express Digital Darkroom because online they only have a function limited trial. I wanted to use the software out in the field, not a function limited trial to really test it out, review it, and then decide if I wanna buy it and also to let you guys know how it worked. And the folks were nice enough over at Darkroom to send me a 30 day trial of the software. And after using it to shoot an event, it was everything that I hoped it would be. Now this is not the booth edition this is the actual core edition which cost about $500 they have a more expensive package that cost a couple of thousand dollars and you can get things like the ability to do barcode stuff with it and you get other features but this is the $500 core edition which is great for shooting events so as I get more experience with the software I will probably update this review and talk about the green screen functions the ability to build memory mates and those kinds of things but right now I just solely am talking about using this for an event software and it worked great. Basically what I get hired to do is I get hired to basically be a photo booth. Essentially a, an unmanned photo booth could probably do the same thing as what we do at these types of events but we get hired by events that want to have an actual photographer there. They want us to help get people posed. They like the ambiance of actually having a photographer. I do a couple of dozen of these a year. Uh, but as we have progressed with these, these events are just getting bigger and bigger. And using something like Lightroom, it's just too slow for the prints to come out. With Lightroom, when I shoot tethered, it takes about 10 to sometimes 15 seconds for an image to transfer from my camera into Lightroom. Then from there, for it to send from Lightroom over to my DNP DS40 printer, it takes another 20 to 40 seconds sometimes to print. So you're talking about close to a minute that it takes from the time that I push the shutter until a print comes out. And that's if I don't run into any kinds of problems, which I have run into problems with things just delaying, having to restart the software, all kinds of stuff like that. And it's just not a very efficient system. With Darkroom, I was able to shoot tethered into the software and within two seconds approximately, the images were transferred into the computer. I had it set up to where as soon as the image transferred into the computer, a four by six print was already set to come out with the event name placed in the bottom left corner of the photo. From the time Dark Darkroom sent the photo over to the DS40 printer and the print came out, again, was a couple of seconds, literally probably 15 seconds from the time that I pushed the shutter button until we had the print in hand, if that long. That was blazing quick. As we were running this booth, we would snap pictures of people, people would start to walk away. we tell them, hold on, grab your print. They'd come back, we already had the print in hand and people were blown away by it. The organization actually paid us an extra 25% above what we had agreed upon for the event because they were so happy with the photo booth, with the image quality and with the speed that we were able to do this. They got so many compliments from people. This was a large event with a great dinner. I mean, it was like some charity event that you would see on television. People were bidding ridiculous sums of money in the auction. $1,000 tickets. $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
uh, organizers got complimented the most on was the photo booth. People loved it. We actually had to run the photo booth about an extra 30 to 40 minutes later than we had originally planned because we had so many people coming back wanting to take more pictures. And so it cut into the time that we were supposed to be photographing the dance. We were supposed to shut the photo booth down at 10, photograph the dance for an hour, and then leave. And we ended up running the photo booth an extra, like I said, 30 to 40 minutes because people were coming back. Typically when I do these types of charity events, we'll get a very slow trickle of people at the beginning and then once everybody gets some alcoholic beverages in them, then we'll get a big rush at the end. With this, it was all night. Once we got the first couple of people through and they saw how fast the prints were coming out, we just had a steady line the entire night. We had to actually post a sign that we were stopping so that we could go eat some dinner uh, because people just kept coming up wanting to take photos. We always get complimented when we do these types of events, but never to the level that we got complimented. And I really have to say that the Core Edition software helped that because with the ability to quick print, it just made people very happy. When people came up with large groups, I already had it set up that we had four by six prints there. We clicked two buttons and we had the selected number of prints coming out on the printer again within seconds. So we could fire off probably 10 prints within at most 30 seconds for all of those prints to be taken from the camera until they were printed and were handing them out. Maybe 30 seconds for like 10 prints, if that. People were blown away by the speed with which we were able to do this. Like any new software, there was a little bit of a learning curve in using Darkroom. Not that any of it was complicated, it was just a matter of finding where certain features were that I wanted for the setup that I wanted, you know, what box to tick, how to find it, that kind of thing. It wasn't at all complicated, but you are going to want to set aside an hour or two before an event and make sure that you've got everything figured out before you go out there. It's it's not complicated at all, but when you're kind of slow like me and you're in a rush, you kind of overlook things. And uh, like, for example, the ability to d detect my camera whenever I was shooting Tether. I spent 30 minutes trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. And then I finally watched a video and I realized on the very first screen of the Tether options, there's a button right at the top that says detect camera. Somehow I missed that button. As soon as I hit it, boom, it instantly detected my camera and I had no problems. Problem we ran into during the event, I can't even really say it is a problem, is that we were shooting tethered, so we obviously had a cord going from the camera to the computer, and when you get 300 drunk people around, somebody is inevitably going to unplug your setup. We had the cord tape, duct tape down to the floor, I thought it wouldn't be a problem, still, somehow people would just manage to unhook it three times on us. Well, we plugged it back in, the software would not automatically redetect the camera, but the software is very is not a resource hungry program. One of the things that I don't care much for it is that it is a Windows based program. So I was using an older gaming desktop for this event. It's not the fastest computer in the world. It doesn't even have an SSD in it, but the program literally it loads in about three to five seconds on that computer. So once people unplugged it, the, the software would not redetect the camera when we plugged it in, but I was able to quickly exit out and within five, maybe 10 seconds tops, we had the program back open and we were shooting. So this is on a computer that it takes probably a good 20 to 30 seconds to load a program like Lightroom or Photoshop. So it was very, very quick. You don't have to have a super souped up machine to run this software. But that's not so much the fault of the software that people unplugged the cord and it didn't automatically redetect the camera. There might have been a workaround in the software to do that, but I just found it easiest just to shut the program down and reboot it and it just worked like that. When you look at the compatibility list, it is primarily a Canon and Nikon system. There are a few other camera bodies that are supported. Noticeably missing for me was Sony. Sony cameras are not natively supported for tethered shooting, but you do have the ability to shoot into a hot folder and then Darkroom can immediately grab the images from the hot folder and print them. But for me personally, without all the extra features like the green screen and the memory mate building and all that, for event photography, the built-in print drivers on this make it well worth the money because I was able to quickly print and just get images sent over to my printers and just have them print out like that. Overall, it was a great event. The event went well. I just wanted to do this mini review while everything was fresh in my mind of how things went and because I have gotten so many questions about what kind of software I use for event photography. In the next couple of weeks, I will put out a full video where I'll talk about our lighting setups 
and the printers that we use, the DNP, DS40, DS80, all that good stuff. But I really can't say enough about Darkroom's software. I do plan on purchasing it. Unfortunately, I was planning on buying a new lens here in the near future, but it looks like I'm going to drop that money on some software. But it's well worth the money, in my opinion, for those of you that shoot events and want to get prints out quickly. So if you guys have any questions about the software or anything else related to events, leave me a comment below and I'll try to get that answered in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.